Hey, beautiful soul. Welcome to your June monthly reading. You know, there's a lot going on in the world this year, so I was nudged by spirit to begin these monthlies again, starting last month in May, and I'm excited to see what June has for us as well. Now, included in these readings, these videos, I also have what I call the astrological Zenergy for the month. It's where I give a high-level overview just of what of these astrological energies energies that spirit wants me to share and then I also will have some intermittent videos here and there throughout the months just talking about different kind of astrological aspects and retrogrades different things like that and that way we can maintain our most zen as we ride those astrological energy waves now these videos these readings are for whatever or wherever these zodiac sign appears in your chart, whether it's your sun sign, your moon sign, rising sign, Mars, Venus, or wherever. And here's a quick reference of what planet generally rules over what area of our lives so you can see where this reading can most impact you. And these monthlies are going to normally be out about two weeks before the beginning of the following month so you can make the most of the astrological energies. Alrighty then, let's take a look at the astrological Zenergy for the month of June. All right, let's start by looking at the energy that we're coming into the month with whatever's already existing. So Pluto is in retrograde and Uranus, Neptune, and Chiron are in their pre-shadow to their retrograde, which means we are already beginning to experience those energies of their retrogrades, but at a less intense level. Uh, I do have Zenergy videos already for Pluto and Uranus and general information about retrogrades if you want to check out my Astrological Zenergy playlist, which I'll have listed in the description box of this video and also linked at the end of the video. I'll be releasing a uh, video about Neptune and Chiron retrogrades in the very near future as well, and that'll be available in the playlist. So. You can see here May 14th through July 16th, I'm calling launch time, not lunch time, but launch time. And that's when all the personal planets are direct and the personal planets are the ones that are within the astrological belt, meaning Mercury, um, you know, Venus and Mars, and they are direct. And so when our personal planets are direct and not in any shadows, it's a great time for launching things because as the tide is outgoing rather than incoming, it's easier to launch things. You know, if you try to launch a boat while the tide's coming in, it capsizes and you have to like invest so much energy to get anywhere and it's not very productive. But when the tide's going out, it's like, woohoo, it's very easy uh, for us to flow outwards. So from May 14th all the way through July 16th, we are within this launching time. So we can take advantage of that ease of moving things out into the world during that time. And then on June 6th, we go into the Gemini new moon energy. Now, Gemini is it's a mutable air sign energy that moves quickly. So when the moon moves into this energy, it can seem a bit more restless than other signs, and it can ignite a desire for mental challenges and mental stimulation. Uh, you may have an unknown desire like, why, why, where is this coming from? Why I want at least two of everything? Because Gemini's the twins, right? So we have this <laughs> desire, two or more. It's a great time for communication, being an air sign. And though you may feel a little scattered, you also have the ability to find the best shortcuts around things or through things. So make sure to check out the pick a card when it comes out before the new moon, uh, because it will talk about how to make the most of the 10 new moon wishes that we get for every new moon. 
And then June 20th, we move into Cancer sign season. It's a cardinal water sign bringing energy that's good for beginning things, which flows very well with that launch time energy of the personal planets. Ruled by the moon, emotions are highlighted, amplified, and even exaggerated, and it rules over the home and the family. So that'll be the theme, a lot of what's going on from like June 20th to like July 20th. This energy brings in a great opportunity to transform lower vibration charged emotions to higher vibrational emotion. And remember, whatever we focus on expands. So whatever emotion we choose in each moment during this time will grow and invite more of it into our lives. Now, cancer season also rings in the summer winter solstice. So June 20th is the winter summer solstice period. Summer solstice in the northern hemisphere and winter solstice in the southern. And this means we'll be experiencing the longest day of the year in the north and the shortest day in the south. It's a time of extremes, death and rebirth in a way. So say goodbye to a long period of self-reflection as we have an opportunity to put what we've learned into action. We wake up more or we go into hibernation depending on what energy we connect with on which hemisphere. Uh, I'll also probably be putting out some uh, solstice separate readings for the three month period. Then on June 21st, the day after, we actually have Capricorn full moon happening. And this is the moon at her most organized, practical, and business-like. It brings out the energy of duty and caution and pessimism. You know, future goals are highlighted, so we're very motivated for our future goals. It's a good time for organizing systematically tasking, I love that I'm a Capricorn rising, I can get into task mode, and focusing on doing the work. Any area of our lives that feels scattered, disrupted, or disorganized can use a dose of this energy to transform it into forward progression. And then lastly, we've got June 29th, Saturn goes full retrograde. Now we've spoken about the Saturn energy already because we talked about when it went into its pre-shadow. Um, and so in the introduction video about retrogrades, uh, you can learn more about that. It's when we covered the Mercury and Saturn retrograde energy. So that'll be in the, that playlist I mentioned earlier, and you can get more insight into that energy. All right, so those are the energies that I felt led to share that we'll all face as a collective. But of course, depending upon your individual birth chart, the impact can vary by individual. You know, we're all an amazing soup that has flavors that are like activated differently when they react to the different astrological energies that trickles upon the earth. All right, now let's see what messages Spirit has for you through the Oracle and the Tarot. What I do here is I take a tarot deck, and this month I am using this beautiful The Wandering Star by Kat Pierce. Actually, I was reading uh, the book that came with this, and she's actually uh, also a recording artist, so you can check her out too if you'd like. But I take this, as, um, this uh, tarot deck and I... Uh, take a major arcana and separate it from the four suits of the minor arcana and we'll look into it this will be the overall energies and then we'll uh, take a look here at each of the four different areas we experience as human and then pull some oracle cards as well so let's get into your reading all right capricorns this is your june reading we're going to start off here pulling from the uh, major arcana here and of course your full moon is happening this month uh, and so that full moon energy will impact you uh, in a substantial way more than others you'll be more magnified your characteristics of capricorn will uh you know like i said be amplified and be more noticeable than normal so can use that to 
focus on the higher expression of your Capricorn energies or the lower and just uh, be sure to check out the Pigot card that comes out a week before uh, that actually happens and that way you can be have a, a good understanding of how that energy will impact you. We'll talk about lower and higher expression of those. All right, but let's take a look here and see what they want you to know overall for the month of June for all the Cappies. Let's see here. What does spirit wants you guys to know here? All right. I'm a Capricorn rising, so I'm interested to see what comes in here too. You got the Hierophant, which is your higher self really drawing you to this place of seeing things from a higher perspective, seeing things like what is the capital T truth of who you really want to be, what you really want in your life, and how you want that to unfold. There is this energy here of teacher, student, so you can also be looking into expansive knowledge, but it's going to be more geared towards spiritual truth, not so much like, I'm going to take a calculus class or chemistry or somewhere something like that. This is going to be more higher wisdom, higher truth kind of energy that you're searching for. We'll also pull here from the magic of the unicorns deck, see what else they want you to know overall for the month uh, around this. What is the truth around any guidance on that or anything else I want you to know. So this is your card here and you've got soul healing. All right. Very good. So align with your essence. See your true colors. You can't make that up. So you definitely have that uh, energy coming in here about seeing what your capital T truth of your true colors are. You know, you can bust into that Cindy Lauper song. <laughs> but let's take a look and see what else they want you to know here with this card. Unicorns are so pure that they can align with your soul, heal it, and raise its frequency. Your soul has to be at least seventh dimensional before you're allowed to incarnate on Earth and may be of an even higher frequency. Over eons, you have had many experiences. Some of these have bruised you at the deepest levels and you are waiting to be soothed and healed. Others have lit up and expanded your entire essence. You aren't just balancing your own soul's lessons now. In these special times as we prepare for the new golden age, you are harmonizing and clearing any family as well as ancestral karma recorded in your soul star chakra. In addition, you may be one of the brave and gracious light workers who's undertaking country as well as world karma. This is a great soul offering and your wondrous unicorn will assist you in transmuting it all. <clears throat> your guidance now is to ask your unicorn to work with you both in and out of your conscious awareness to heal all that needs to be released and purified. Your eyes are the windows of your soul, so look into your unicorn's eyes and ask it to reflect back to you your true, true soul colors. You may be aware of blue, gold, pink, violet, or any other hue. Seeing who you are enables your celestial companion to bring your core spirit forward to accomplish all the healing that your magnificent soul has undertaken in this lifetime. So to heal your soul, relax and contemplate the vastness and wonder of your soul. Call your unicorn and feel its presence. Ask it to reflect your magnificence to you. Look directly into its eyes. Sense or see the true colors of your soul reflected. And let the healing flow in. The affirmation for the card, my soul is beautiful and perfect. I love that. So definitely um, higher truth, seeing yourself truly as this powerful, supernaturally eternal spirit being made of unconditional love you are. This is your higher self, seeing that purity. The human is just one little expression of our entire powerful being that we are. 
So you really are coming into a lot of awareness uh, through this. Now let's look into the four major, uh, four, sorry, four minor arcana, which represent the four different areas of our human experience. We'll start with fire, the wand suit. And this is your drive, your passion, your inspiration, your energy overall, spiritual energy too. So this will be what uh, spirit wants you to know about your energetic experience through the month of June. All right, so for our Capricorns, what would you like them to know? All right, this is the one right here. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. So a lot of energy flowing in here, and this is this readjustment of energy for you. So this is you deciding where it is that you want to continue to invest the energy, and there's going to be this evaluation as you see these capital T truths of what things you're focusing on that are of lower vibration, the things that have been urgent, 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 but are not important. And you're, you know, if you have 10 things that you're focusing on and they all move ahead one space, it's not a whole lot of progress. And as you evaluate, where am I investing my energy and why? And then you start cutting things off going, I'm not going to invest energy in these things anymore. I'm not even going in that direction. These are out of fear. Uh, you're really aligning with your soul purpose here. And that 10 is an endings and a new beginnings on where you're focusing your energy. So I like that for you because this is like this reboot in June of, you know, you're going to be getting a lot of energy back so you can go 10 things go up one space or one thing go up 10 or some sort of alteration of that. But if you can get your down to one soul purpose, you can great, make great big leaps in that. We'll also pull here from the Fairy Wisdom Oracle, and we'll see what else they want you to know about this energy, this energetic adventure um, in, in the month here. All right, so you got all this blowing up here, but uh, this card over here is the one that is the true card. <laughs> <clears throat> that was your energy blowing up. <laughs> so you got the devotion card coming in here. Card number 12. And we'll see what energy comes in that. We'll just scooch that right over here. Just move those closer together. All right. And let's see what that energy brings in. unconditional love <laughs> so this is the energy of of your soul of your higher self here you know we are powerful supernatural eternal spirit beings made of unconditional love and it says are you considering devoting yourself to another first make sure you are devoted to yourself capital s self right begin by embracing spirits devotion to you Feel it inside and out. Feel it filling the faceted crystal in your heart. Center yourself firmly within the white light of spirit's energy, which gives you life. Ground yourself firmly to the earth, which feeds and cares for you. Fill yourself to the brim with the majesty of unconditional love. Then give it forth from the endless supply that is rightfully yours to share. It is honoring spirit and the spirit that is within you that you receive the love to give to another. If you're truly devoted to another, you will honor their belief, their right to opinions and choices, and the divine within them. Honor them just for being who they are. See the reflection of God within their eyes. Here's that eyes again. Window of the soul, right? And acknowledge that each person has his or her own divine path and lessons to learn. Withhold judgments, yet be there when you're called upon to help and to love, or maybe just to hold a hand. We often find relationships difficult to maintain. Sometimes fear is what keeps us from fully immersing ourselves into relationships. There is fear of rejection, of not being good enough or worthy, and fear of being hurt. But when we love ourselves, we can then love others. Ask Spirit to give you what is best for you and trust it to do so. 
You are good enough just as you are. You are worthy of love and a good relationship. Spirit fills our desires in the most wonderful, sometimes mysterious ways. And the um, the uh, fairies say, make and give someone a valentine today. And start with yourself. I feel like, you know, one of the big things is we can never love someone else more than to the extent we love ourselves. And so as we work on this capital S self-love, really focus in on our journey, it transforms because we're no longer looking to the outside world to give us something it can't. We turn inward and upward. We fill up with that unconditional love. And then when anyone gives, we are appreciative of instead of falling, you know, looking at it and seeing how it's falling short. So great energy is coming in here. And then we'll move into the element of Earth, which is the suit of pentacles. It's the only suit that's about the outside world. All the rest, energies inward, mind and um, emotions inward. But this is about your physical experience. The other people on stage with you, these other props, your body. It's um, basically what Spirit wants you to know about your physical adventure during the month of June. So for Capricorns, all right, which is Earth energy, it's your element. Yeah, and you have the Page of Pentacles. New opportunities opening up in the outside world that are spawned and sparked from you seeing your worth in relationship to the outside world in a different way. So you are seeing yourself differently because you're seeing yourself from a higher perspective. You're gaining this clarity, the capital T truth, instead of the small T truths that make you feel limited and bound and trapped and, and small, right? So <clears throat> I love this coming in here for you. Uh, and we'll also pull here from this unicorns deck from Palo. Is that Barbieri? I'm probably murdering that, my apologies. Let's see what else they want you to know about your physical adventure. Definitely new opportunities that are being opened up because of how you're looking at your worth differently. All right. So what else? What else for Capricorn, please? Their physical adventure. Okay, this will be your card here. And you've got not a dragon, purity. Beautiful card. Let's see if we can get it to not... Be glary, there you go. So number one, we'll put that right here. <clears throat> Excuse me, and let's see what that brings in. So the transformative message here says, a figure appears before you. Is it a lizard? A bearded dragon? No, it's something more. The dragon unicorn metamorphoses and appears before your very eyes, pure white like snow, mythic, and filling you with its wonder. It is a hearkening back to the days of dinosaurs, consciousness on the earth plane in its pure form, back before the dawn of humankind, echoing to the very core of our being and consciousness. Purity joined by the spirit of the butterfly in constant renewal and transformation. Behold the dragon unicorn. Beautiful. The meditation for this is gently take hold of the wings of the dragon unicorn and allow her to lead you across the sky far and wide. Feel her scales in your hands and see the clouds as they float by. Allow the moment to transform on the wings of a butterfly. Ask the dragon unicorn to show you the essence and purest form of your highest self. <laughs> there you go. The affirmation says, in my purest form, I am a mystery within a mystery. I celebrate my incredible nature, your true nature. The action that you can take is in yoga practice, I'm going to murder this, uh, Bhujangasana or something like that, or Cobra Pose, that's easier to say, evidently, maybe not, invites us to lay on our belly and breathe in deeply, rising upward like a snake and tapping into our inner dragon. Take a few moments to research and enjoy a long stretch in Cobra Pose, engaging in some deep, 
and pure dragon breaths. Yeah. So you're definitely getting you in tune with your higher self is a theme that's coming through all this so far. And then we'll move into the element of air, which is the suit of swords. This is all the thinking. It's your thoughts, beliefs, mindsets, attitudes, expectations. And this will be, what does spirit want you to know about your mental adventure during the month of June? So Capricorns are big thinkers. So I'm sure you're going to do some thinking. Yep. Eight of swords. You are really releasing and moving through a lot of your thoughts and beliefs and mindsets that made you feel blinded and bound and trapped in here. An eight is a good number, um, you know, tens and eights, uh, even numbers really, because especially larger ones, it, it represents like four on each side. There's this beautiful path in the middle, ten, five on each side, beautiful path of flowingness. And this is your thoughts and beliefs that are flowing and allowing you to move beyond those thoughts and beliefs that no longer serve you, those limiting ones. Those ones that made you feel small, those fear-based ones that are not anything true because your truth you find here again through your, you know, this uh, seeing your true colors here where this is realizing the lies and um, the small T truths rooted in fear instead of the capital T truths. We'll also pull here from the wisdom of the elders oracle see what else they want you to know about your mental adventure here so what else nope, none of those all right do you feel it's this one here and we've got the star people universal knowledge yeah so here's the capital T truth this higher knowledge from your higher self drawing you upward so this universal knowledge and it's like there's these students here but let's take a look here and see what the star people what this brings in for you so star people are some of the oldest allies to the human nation they guide and assist us through life and possess ancient wisdom that we can connect with they can often appear to us during dreams or meditations there have been numerous encounters throughout history, many of, many of which were documented by indigenous people with petroglyphs, storytelling, and creation stories. Their increased presence on Mother Earth reminds us that we're not alone in the universe, whether it be in the physical sense, in the mental realm, <laughs> mental realm and even within the scope of spirituality. Their existence not only teaches us that in the same way that a drop of seawater is still a part of the ocean, humans are intrinsically connected to beings across the galaxy. Our unique experiences in life are a small reflection of the divine, and as you continue to nurture your own spiritual growth and evolutionary process, your ability to connect to these beings will become more pronounced. They've been sharing universal wisdom and knowledge with humanity since the beginning of time. And if you've drawn the Star People card today, its presence might coincide with a radical departure from some level of normalcy in your life. Perhaps you've noticed a shift away from certain circles of friends, activities you once enjoyed, or aspects of your personality that no longer resonate with you. You may feel particularly drawn to research connecting to beings from other worlds. Now is the time to call upon the star people to help guide you with universal knowledge. Wow. So yeah i mean depending on your belief systems of course but i i definitely feel like all of this is about turning inward and upward and reevaluating where you're getting your capital t truths and small t truths from and um, they're they've been here for a very long time and uh, sharing knowledge with you is something that they're willing to do if you are willing so i like that the last suit is cups, which is the element of water. 
represents emotion and so this will be what spirit wants you to know about your emotional adventure for the month of june so let's take a look here and see for capricorn what does your emotional adventure look like or what does spirit want you to know about your emotional adventure all right all right so they do want this one right here yeah, the Two of Cups. So here again with this devotion, this is, um, I mean, this can mean, because it's a general reading, I mean, it can mean that you're having a significant partnership into your life. That could be a human, meaning, you know, like a lover. It could be reacquainting with a family member that you've been disconnected with for a while, a new best friend, but it can also be your relationship to, you guessed it, your higher self. <laughs> so I feel like that's the big, big piece here. And then once you fill up on the inside with this higher love from above, you can have some amazing uh, human relationships because you're giving, you're filling up with unconditional love and flowing it. And so it brings you a different type of experience. But definitely this relationship with your higher self is a huge piece of your June for you. And then lastly, we'll pull here from the Oracle of the Unicorns. And um, because it's the last card, it can either be more about your emotional adventure, but it can also be a wild card, which is whatever else Spirit wants you to know about your June. So what's your final message for Capricorn? I feel like it's this one right here. <laughs> of course, you got Goddess. Honor your divine feminine energy. See your inner beauty. Love every part of you. Yep, so here we go. You know, coming back to this, your divinity and recognizing your divinity. And we all have divine masculine and feminine within us. So, you know, we definitely have this energy. Whether we're male or female or however we identify. And it says you are a goddess, a perfect aspect of the divine feminine embodied in human form. You are a miracle gracing planet Earth with your beauty. You do not need shinier hair, whiter teeth, or a slimmer figure in order to embody the goddess. She is the infinite love you hold in your heart. She is the deep wisdom that flows from your soul. She is the light in your eyes and the warmth of your smile. She is the hands you use to heal and comfort. She is the pleasure your body is capable of experiencing through giving and receiving touch. Your culture disempowers you by conditioning you to hate, to even abuse your body in order to even, I'm sorry, to sever your natural connection with the goddess. The media sets impossible standards of beauty so you shrink into feelings of infer inferiority and insignificance right feeling small feeling less than like this one this unicorn goddess urges you to rise up and reclaim your right to feel beautiful from within exactly as you are she tells you to turn your back on the pressure to look a certain way and cherish your miraculous body just as it is Set your own standards of beauty, starting with the love, wisdom, compassion, and radiance within you. For men, the message is the same. Shun the pressure to look like a sculptured statue and focus on strengthening your heart. Honor all of your parts of you that you may have disowned before and treat your body like the divine temple that it is. Walk with your, hell, your head held high, your heart open wide, and let the world see the goddess or heart warrior that walks before them. Beautiful. I love that for you. Sorry if you hear my stomach growling. <laughs> um, but wow, you know, what a, what a message here of connecting higher, finding the self-love, stepping into your power, reacquainting yourself and becoming best of friends with your divinity. And that transforms everything here. It allows you to be able to contact and speak to other individuals on the other side, whether it's, you know, um, guardian angels, angels, spirit guides, loved ones, ancestors, other collectives, whatever it may be. 
your higher self is your conduit and so strengthening your relationship with your higher self strengthens your relationship with humans and with ethereal beings too so i love this for you what a great june and this is what they have for you capricorns and if you're interested in more messages of love from above, there's a few things you can do. First, you can give this video a little thumbs up by clicking the like button. That does tell me you enjoy these videos. It also tells YouTube that you do, and they will send you more similar content. Other thing that we can do is click that subscribe button. It does give you access to the notification bell. And if you go into the settings and select all, it will be notified when any new videos come out on my channel, plus when I go live on YouTube to provide free readings. Also, if you like or share any of my videos, comment on any of my videos, subscribe to my channel, even become one of my YouTube channel members. Doing those things makes the YouTube algorithm so giddy, crazy, happy, excited, wants to automatically share my videos with other people as well, so you can be part of the love tsunami. And if you are uh, interested in doing any of those things, inspired to do any of those things, please know I'm very, very grateful. Also, these are general readings. If you're looking for even more specific information, answers, any other kind of uh, things for your life, I do offer a variety of services, including personal readings, and all that information is listed in the description box down below. All right, beautiful soul, as you're going through your wonderful monthly adventure, remember, every second of every day of the month and of course your entire life you truly are unconditionally and eternally loved by the mother and the father of all things our creator and of course i love you too so until we chat again much love to you hang in there take care of yourself and we'll see you soon